Hi everyone, I'm Motoko. I'm an Ikebana instructor at Reston Community Center. I've been teaching Ikebana, the Reston Community Center, for the past three years. And also having workshops, exhibits, and classes in Northern Virginia, Maryland, and Washington, D.C. for the past 25 years. And for the more detail, please go to restoncommunitycenter.com. Before moving on to today's lesson of how to make fixtures in the tall base, I would like to explain some of the basics of Ikebana. The most important thing is to keep in mind is your safety and the other's safety. So within that role, we encourage try using different materials or find the beauty in common use object. And um, you don't need many. Of course, there are uh, huge arrangement, ikeban arrangement, using a lot of materials. But traditional, basic ones are really simple. For example, this arrangement only use two materials. One, this is a burning bush, Iwanimas burning bush, and one chrysanthemum. These are all four plant materials and nice color change. So just use two materials and you can make full arrangement. So that's part of it. Also, this is another example. This is best in the garden with the morning dew, but this shiny, this different color shade, it's like a, a jewel. So it's very nice. Oh, that's beauty berry. So I just need one, like a tiny portion of it. So that's another uh, uh, philosophy of Ikebana to appreciate nature and um, just tiny portion we get and uh, bring in this nature into the house, into your house. So this is pure comfort. And actually it was broken, the tip is broken, so I decided to use it here. So just two berries and it brings a feel of fall, autumn. And the basket is really good material, good uh, container for fall. And uh, of course, it doesn't hold the water. So you can put, for example, like a food container, like a recycled container, plastic one, and that's fine as long as it holds water. So basket is another good containers. And just two berries, but nice contrast of colors. So that's one approach, very simplistic. I will introduce two kinds. One is called vertical fixture. Usually I fill water, but for the uh, showing purpose, I just don't fill water. But all plants, in general, last longer when you cut under water, cut in the water. The one tools I forgot to mention, uh, pruning shears, if you have, that'd be very useful because uh, cutting branches. But also, if it has a pretty uh, thick diameter, then scoring, like this, rotate, and then break. That's probably easier for the blade and your hand too. So, vertical fixture. It's about less than an inch or so from the mouse up the top of the container, and you cut at an angle. You split in half. This is a good rule of thumb. It's kind of like a golden proportion. The branch is about 1.5 lengths of the container. And the branch has a good width, then you can also split. and uh, bite each other. So that's one way to fix branch. And then for the beginner, it's good to add the branch the other side. 
like so. It's anchoring the branches. So that's the mechanics. Next one is called crossbar fixture and use tension of the branch. So for the beginner, maybe it's easier to have something like a square with a corner like this, but also you can use this round type of container too. So again, I use forfithia because this is a soft stem. And usually when you get some branches, then cut off part, best to utilize. So make a crossbar, cut at an angle again, but it's parallel. And by the way, this fixture doesn't work if the container goes taper, uh, like a bottom wider because when you push it, it goes down. So either a cylindrical cylinder column or uh, the narrow at the bottom, that will work. So one, so it's kind of like a try and error and see how, what's the best angle. But by cutting these very sharp so that it will, this tip is a little bent and that will give the anchor. Also, if you have very thin glass, then I don't recommend because this is pretty strong. You can even lift. It's pretty uh, good tension. Goes under. But if it's hard to put your hand inside, it's okay to set it. But it's more secure to go under and up. So put this crossbar. And then this is a very heavy branch. This is a spindle. Also nice hedge um, plants that you can see everywhere. And one, one of these quadrants you can find a balance. So it's actually we'll just put, then it will tilt, but you can find a balance in one of the quadrants. And also I train, we call it train the branch. So a little bit square and as long as skin intact and it goes underwater, plants will survive. So if branch has S shape, then it's actually easier. More advanced style, you can put just one side heavy branch and the other side flower so it's flowing. But for the beginner, it's uh, when the branch comes both side, it's easier to get balance. When you cut the branch, and if the tip is sharp, that goes against the wall, then it will rotate, and it won't be secured, so it moves. So, cut so that wider area will hit the wall, so that will be secured. Okay, so the second branch, so First branch is stronger, taller. Second branch, a little bit shorter. That looks visually more like flow. And then I will show you how to put flowers. This is quite big, heavy arrangement. So to match this uh, energy, I picked the big flower, the Casablanca lilies. Just put it like this so that weight of the flower will bring it out. So if you leave it here, it will gradually go to tilt. So I put the second one, sort of add weight. And um, also make sure to trim the leaves that will go under water, that will uh, rot the water. So trim as so you go, so second one. So by the way, we call this style throwing. So the final arrangement looks like you're just throwing. A lot of uh, effort and sweat goes in, but, but um, uh, just as if you throw in, 
throw the plant material in, then that's a uh, more naturalistic look. So it's called throwing arrangement. So, but when you arrange, please make sure to fill water so that uh, plants won't dry up. So this is the arrangement, only two kinds, and the one, two, three main branches, and the rest of it is a filler that cut off part from this branch. And uh, two stems of lily. And you can see it's pretty uh, 3D, huge arrangement. So this is arrangement using cross bar fixture. And lastly, I just want to show uh, that I mentioned modern given approach. We encourage people to look around and find beauty in a common object. This summer, this is my favorite. This summer, um, I just love, this is a uh, liquor bottle. I love the bottle. So I gave this to my husband and get an empty one for myself. And uh, this is King's Prohibition. So it kind of has some image. So I will uh, show some variation of using uh, this uh, flexible branch using as a fixture. So um, this is a dried sago palm. Looks like a feather. But you can just put it and it's already cool. But I just want to use this way, but without anything, it won't fix. So, so just tiny bit I cut and bent. And in the middle, and put it. So now it's fixed, just like feather fall onto this uh, bottle, cool bottle. And maybe just one rose. I used this already. But, um, and uh, by the way, these containers have a smaller mouth, so you cannot put many. Also, if you put too many, and uh, deep down, then it rot quicker. So that's some of the thing that you can play with. And uh, ikebana is a modern approach, especially. It's to express yourself through arrangement and have fun, have uh, joy of this creating beauty. Uh, so I hope you enjoy and try some of the skills that um, I showed today. So thank you very much. <laughs>